people up here look quite lonely. Right? <laughs> so what I think we'll do is, girls, do you mind, do you want to come up and stand yeah. and keep them company? <laughs> and just in the interest of mirroring what they've got over there, can I have all four of you to stand up as well? And Storm, if you want to have a sit down, if you're feeling tired, then you can sit down. But other than that, just hang out with us guys, okay? Awesome. It was just messing with my feng shui. I had to make sure it worked. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone and a very warm welcome family and friends to the beautiful Bowfield Country Club for this very special ceremony. I was absolutely delighted when Leanne and Jamie asked me to conduct their ceremony. My name is John Leo Scott and I am a marriage officer with the Fuse Foundation. Today's ceremony is a sensational occasion for all involved and our bride and groom want you to enjoy it as much as them. If you've never attended a humanist wedding before, you are in for a treat. Leanne and Jamie have chosen this style of ceremony as it focuses on them, their unique love story, a wonderful journey that has brought them to this room today where they will pledge their lives together forever. Like I said, our ceremony is humanist in content and for those of you who are unfamiliar with this type of ceremony, the humanist philosophy is simply one of unity, respect and freedom of choice and thought. It is about respecting each other as human beings and caring for the world that we live in which I'm sure are values that we all share, no matter what our beliefs. You are all playing in part, an important part in today's ceremony and celebrations. And furthermore, I'd like to give special thanks to our brides and our grooms party, friends and family. Give it up for them. <laughs> but reserve your most rapturous round of applause for the stars of the show, <laughs> Leanne and Jamie. Marriage is all about giving and taking, forgiving and forsaking, kissing and loving, pushing and shoving, caring and sharing, screaming and swearing. It's about being together whatever the weather, about being driven to the end of your tether, about sweetness and kindness and wisdom and blindness. It's about being strong when maybe you're feeling quite weak. It's about saying nothing when you're dying to speak. It's about being wrong when you know you're right. And it's about giving in before there's a fight. And for you two today, it's about to begin. And for all that the two of you had to put in, some days filled with joy, some days with sadness, too late to discover that marriage is madness. Folks, now it's story time. So this is our bride and groom's very own love story. So you, I'm going to spill the beans right now. Back in October 2005, the spooky stars aligned and Jamie and, love, and, and Leanne's love story began at a Halloween bash. Picture this, Jamie, the masked maestro rocking a Freddy Krueger disguise and Leanne keeping it casual in a t-shirt and jeans. She hilariously confessed that dressing up wasn't her jam. In this eerie encounter, Jamie, hidden behind the horror mask, took the plunge and made the first move. With Leanne having no clue about Jamie's true identity, he slyly suggested a trip to the store. Little did she know, it was just an excuse for Jamie to flaunt his boy racer skills, all wrapped, wrapped up in a Halloween twist. Talk about, <laughs> talk about love at first, fright. Zoom in. Zoom into the shop with Leanne, hold on to her seat for fear of life. Jamie seemed to be on a mission to turn the juice to turn the juice run into high speed thriller. She couldn't decide if he was trying to show off or auditioning for the next Fast and Furious movie. But one thing was for sure, she was just happy to survive the breakneck speed manoeuvres. Despite Jamie's need for speed, Leanne's prevailing thought was, hey, he's actually a really nice guy. <coughs> On the other side of the pedal, Jamie was thinking, she's a genuinely nice person and well-spoken. <laughs> who, <knew a> <laughs> who knew a juice run could be a roller coaster of emotions? After surviving 
the Speed Demon episode, they exchanged numbers and kept the connection alive through text and lightning calls. As they continued meeting up, it didn't take long for them to upgrade to an official iPhone. Love might not always take the slow lane, but it sure knows how to make an entrance. Jamie made the daring leap into Leanne's family abode and the joyful plot twist followed. News of Leanne's pregnancy with, Leanne, with Liam, life hit the fast forward button and from zooming around in Jamie's car, they found themselves proudly embracing parenthood. Just 14 months later, it was like speed dating, but with a buggy. <laughs> On the glorious 20th of December 2006, Liam made his grand entrance into the world. And now that's what you call perfect timing. A birthday, a birthday strategically positioned far enough from Christmas, ensuring that his birthday present wouldn't moonlight as Christmas gifts. Talk about dodging the double duty gift trap. Life may have shifted gears, but Jamie and Leanne welcomed the adventure with open arms and a sense of humour. It's a whirlwind of celebrations in the household and Jamie's birthday on the 22nd and Leanne's in January. In the chaotic dance of life, August 2007 marked the move into their own home and just four months post Liam's grand entrance into the world, they decided to take the plunge into marriage. That's efficiency, like planning a wedding between nappy changes. The lovely family expanded even further on the 12th of June 2010 with the arrival of wee brother for Liam, Jack, and he graced their lives as the quintessential summer baby, filling their home with even more warmth and joy. Now let's fast forward to 2012. Unfortunately, they hit a plot twist and parted ways, officially divorcing in July, but not your typical rom-com, right? But wait, there's a twist in the tale. They never really fell out. They stayed in touch, committed to being top-notch parents for the boys. The universe, however, had other plans for this dynamic duo. Realising they were apart, but would belong together, Jamie and Leanne decided to give it another shot. April 2016, they made a comeback. And it was like destiny hitting the rewind button. The boys played matchmakers, proving that even in the messiest puzzles, family is the missing piece. The family's happiness knows no bounds, whether touring in the caravan, enjoying dinner outings, or indulging in some fierce 10 pin bowling competitions. <laughs> Lalo and Stitch take the spotlight for Leanne, while Jamie is the quintessential cars, guns, and action kind of guy. Now brace yourself for the proposal saga. Jamie, with all the subtlety of a rom-com hero, initially planned to pop the question at Alicante Airport, but Leanne, the ever-vigilant leading lady, shut that down faster than a bad movie review. Plan B kicked in at Magic Nature in Benidorm and the cosy finds of the lodge. Flowers tidying up, flowers tidying up, and of course, the ring. Jamie set the stage. Down on one knee in front of the boys, he proposed. Shoo the confetti and the whole family being over the moon. It may not be a Hollywood ending, but it's there happily ever after, filled with love, laughter, and a touch of unconventional charm. Folks, give it up for the story. <laughs> so, we've just heard our bride and groom's very own love story, the story of how they fell in love. Now, some people say that falling in love, that's the easy part, it's staying in love. Well, that can be a bit of a conundrum. So when I sat with these two gorgeous people, I asked them <laughs> if they could share with me five things they love about their partner, and they've graciously agreed, and they don't know what their partner has said. So this is the big reveal, and we're going to start with you. <laughs> <laughs> and Leanne said, I love that he's always there for me, no matter how stubborn I am. I love his personality, in brackets, bit bipolar at times though. <laughs> I love how hard a worker he is for his family. I love how he apologises first even if he's done nothing wrong, because I'm always right. <laughs> And I love how you trust me when I say, let's go on an adventure to make memories. You ask no questions. 
and your thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I love your sense of humour and that you make me laugh. I love that you're kind, caring, and always right. <laughs> I love that you feed me. <laughs> She's a feeder. I love that she gave me her voice. I love the trust you have in me, even when I'm buying boats, caravans, and vans. <laughs> Folks, give it up for their five things. And so before we go into the family hand fasting, I'm going to read a poem and it's called Dreamland. I'm drifting along on a dream boat through a wonderland of dreams where arches of endless rainbows reflect on silvery streams. I travel through this great divide where every wish comes true, where golden bonds of friendship will always see you through. Tread softly, softly, lest I wake from these sweet dreams sublime. You let me live in this mystic land until the end of time. And friends and family, now we're going to celebrate not only the love between Leanne and Jamie, but also the love that binds this family together. We come together in unity and joy, recognising the strength and commitment of this family. These ribbons, they symbolise the, the unique qualities each member brings to this family. Leanne and Jamie, Liam and Jack, your lives are about to be beautifully intertwined, and these cords will represent the ties that bind you together. Now, no. I need to try and work this so that the guys can get photographs of it. There's Alan. How can, how can you miss me? <laughs> he was in the army, by the way. Look, he's, he's totally disguised. <laughs> so I placed this ribbon of love around your joint hands and loosely tied. For you, I place the ribbon of love around your wrist and intertwine it. This one, and loosely tie it on. Boys, you want to come forward? So, um, you come round this side to go round past your dad. <laughs> Absolutely. So I want no, you take that one. Mum, you take that one, and I need you round this side. And Jamie, you take that one. So, we're going to make promises to each other, then they'll let their right hands go, and then if you all gently pull apart, make sure that the photographer gets a good shot of this, and we'll just perhaps nudge that knot so that it just meets beautifully. So, here we go. <laughs> Leanne, Leanne, Jamie, Liam and Jack, as you hold each other's ribbons, know that you're creating a bond not only between yourselves but with your children as, as well. Liam and, um, Liam and Jack understand that you play a vital role in this family's unity. The knot represents the strength of your family bond just as these ribbons are now inseparable so too are your lives. As you tighten this knot, not right now, remember the love and commitment that brought you all together. May this hand fasting ceremony be a lasting symbol of the love, support and unity within this family. Leanne, Jamie, Liam and Jack, may your ties grow stronger with each passing day. As you face life's challenges together, may this not remain unbreakable, a testament to the enduring love that binds you all. Now I'm going to ask you your vows, remember, we will at the very end of that, okay? Leanne and Jamie, will you seek as mature people to have a loving marriage, allowing it to allowing it and each other to change and develop, supporting each other in happiness and sorrows, health and illness. Will you seek to live together as equal and different individuals and to recognise and accept each other's strengths and weaknesses? Will you seek to trust the ebb and flow of your love to offer your love without conditions, having faith that it will always return and understanding that its nature may change? Will you seek always to learn from your shared experiences and to build from them a full and caring friendship based on trust and on respect. We will. Let your right hands go. 
You don't know you don't let that go. Right, <laughs> Jet. There we go. Awesome. Let Alan see that no. Perfect. <laughs> Get them a round of applause, please. <laughs> Boys, you can shuffle over that way, that's <laughs> And remember, see whenever there's an, a family argument, you have to point this to this knot and say, listen, this is what we promised to each other as a family. We can't argue, Mum always wins. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard that at the bag, he said, we can't argue, Mum always wins. <laughs> And now we come to the part of the ceremony when you are going to exchange your rings. Your wedding rings will stand as a permanent reminder of the vows you've exchanged today. Wear them always, and when you look at them, think about each other and remember the happiness you felt on this, your wedding day. Jamie, if you'd now like to make your legal vows to Leanne, will you please repeat these words after me? If you want, you can hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present to witness the I, James Thomas McNeil. The I, James Thomas McNeil. Solemnly and sincerely declare. Solemnly and sincerely <laughs> declare <laughs> that I accept you, Leanne McNeil. That I accept you, Leanne McNeil. As my lawfully wedding wife. As my lawfully wedding wife. Finger. Repeat these words after me. Leanne, take this ring. Leanne, take this ring. And with it, my commitment. And with it, my commitment. To be the best husband I can be. To be the best husband that I can be. Leanne, it's your turn. Please repeat these words after me. Hold each other's sweaty palm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't repeat that. <laughs> I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Leanne McNeil. To witness that I, Leanne McNeil. Solemnly and sincerely declare. Solemnly and sincerely declare. <laughs> that I accept you, James Thomas McNeil. That I accept you, James Thomas McNeil. As my lawfully wedded husband. As my lawfully wedded husband. Thank you. Show the ring to his finger. And please repeat these words after me. Jamie, take this ring. Jamie, take this ring. And with it, my commitment. And with it, my commitment. To be the best wife I can be. To be the best wife I can be. Leanne and Jamie, you've chosen to marry. You've pledged your love, respect for, and commitment to each other. You've promised to stand by each other through the joys or sorrows that you may face in life. And so following the declarations made before me and in the presence of these witnesses, and now it's my most pleasant duty to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bonny brow. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Friends and family, bridegroom, myself and the two witnesses, we're going to make our way to the table, the signing table, where we're going to sign the marriage schedule. And then I am going to present to you for the very first time the new Mr. and Mrs. Let's shuffle over here, friends. <laughs>